I'm a Democrat of California. He sits on the House Oversight and Reform uh, Committee. Congressman, I have to begin uh, with condolences to your state and to the loved ones of those 10 people confirmed dead after last night's uh, mass shooting in Monterey Park, uh, which is represented by your Democratic House colleague, Judy Chu. I wonder if and what you've heard from her about how her constituents are holding up after this tragedy, and how is your state holding up tonight after one of its worst mass shootings in recent memory? Reverend Sharpton, it is heartbreaking. I have uh, reached out to Representative Chu. It's heartbreaking that this has happened in a Lunar New Year celebration uh, with the Asian American community. But it is also heartbreaking that we've had 33 mass shootings just this year, in the new year. I mean, something is deeply wrong in America, and we have to, as a nation, come together to stop this madness. Mass shootings, 33 in 2023, just so people are clear. Uh, take a listen, Congressman, to what Vice President Kamala Harris said earlier today about this attack. A time of a cultural celebration. And yet another community has been torn apart by senseless gun violence. So Doug and I joined the president and Dr. Biden, and I know everyone here, in mourning for those who were killed, as we pray for those who were injured, and as we grieve for those many people whose lives are forever changed. All of us in this room and in our country understand this violence must stop. And President Biden and I and our administration will continue to provide full support to the local authorities. Your thoughts, Congressman, on the vice president's statements? I think she spoke for all of us in California. I mean, obviously, she's from California. Uh, this, I'm sure, is deeply personal to her uh, and to the uh, second gentleman. And the first priority is to capture the suspect so that further communities aren't a threat. And I appreciate the support the administration is giving to local law enforcement. Of course, I really salute the local law enforcement who are risking their own lives to bring people uh, to safety. Uh, but beyond that, we need to have a conversation in this country about mass shootings, not just the use of guns, obviously that's a part of it, but broader conversation. It's tearing us apart. Now, 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 switching back to politics for a moment, just after we went off the air last night, we learned that the FBI investigators found another set of classified materials, six items consisting of documents with classification markings and surrounding materials discovered during a consensual search of President Biden's Wilmington, Delaware home Friday. Uh, the White House says it is cooperating with the Justice Department's special counsel investigation. Of course, your Republican colleagues in the House have been calling on the DOJ to turn over information from its investigation of the matter, the, the DOJ refusing the request, citing the ongoing investigation. But now, two Democratic senators, Joe Manchin and Tim Kaine, have signaled this weekend that they're open to investigating the president. Well, what's your response to this latest discovery, and what do you make of Democrats now open to investigating President Biden? I don't understand it. There is an investigation. Uh, Attorney General Merrick Garland has appointed a special counsel, and President Biden is 100 percent cooperating with that special counsel. They have notified the Justice Department as soon as they found these classified documents. They have invited the Justice Department in to the president's personal residence to find any other documents that may be classified. That shows to me that the president believes that the rule of law is fully cooperating, and uh, he is acting in the way you would want anyone to act in these types of circumstances. Now, earlier this afternoon, reproductive rights supporters mobilized coast to coast for the 50th anniversary of Roe versus Wade today. 
uh, Vice President Kamala Harris marked the anniversary uh, with remarks this afternoon acknowledging the impact of Roe's repeal seven months ago and announcing a forthcoming White House effort to protect access to abortion medication. Congressmen, some fear the new House Republican majority will press for a national ban on abortion. You sit on the House pro-choice caucus. Do you see that happening? I do, uh, because the speaker has made a deal with the most extreme elements of that Republican caucus, and they have been for a ban. Now, whether they can get it through the Senate is a different question. But, Reverend, what I have said is we need term limits for these Supreme Court justices who are following a partisan ideological agenda. They're not following the rule of law. This is something the president's own commission has recommended to the president. And I hope we can finally have reform of this Supreme Court that is totally disconnected, totally disconnected from ordinary Americans' lives.